Hello, I'm Jenny, virtual presenter of Canal Innova Plus. Innova Plus News, Intellectual Property and INPI is on the air, bringing posts available on the internet between December 6 and 8, 2023. But, before you start, be sure to subscribe to our channel, here on YouTube. It's fast and free. Oh, you're already subscribed, so, thank you so much for your support. Take advantage and press the notification bell to stay up to date with the news of the channel and also like and share the videos you like on your social networks. Help us reach the 1000 subscriber mark. Let's get to today's posts. First block, intellectual property. News number 1, miguelhas.com.br, December 8, 2023, STF analyzes competent body to judge copyright infringement. On December 8, 2023, the Supreme Court of Justice, STF, decided to assign to the state or federal courts the responsibility of prosecuting and punishing crimes of transnational intellectual property infringement. The case, which originated in a case involving counterfeit CDs, was referred to the Federal Court of Justice, FJJ, for lack of jurisdiction. The Supreme Court confirmed the inability of the FJJ to prosecute the crime, citing the specific interests of the rights holders. The Supreme Court also affirmed Brazil's commitment to combating crimes against intellectual property and protecting literary and artistic works through international treaties. The case was referred to the federal court, which stressed the importance of protecting rights across national borders. The court decided that the jurisdiction of the federal court would always involve a deliberative action, characterized by transnationality, and that the crime should be prosecuted in national or international courts. The case was finalized on December 18, 2023. News number 2, Dario Dio Grande ABC, December 8, 2023, Epcot gets luminous fireworks show and Walt Disney statue. Epcot, located at Disney World in Orlando, is launching a new nighttime show called Luminous, The Symphony of Us. The show celebrates humanity and the similarities that bring people together. The show features artifacts, fountains, lights, and music, combining elements of popular Disney songs with original music created for the show. The series is not based on original Disney artwork, but it aims to get visitors hooked to the story. The show will feature a variety of music, including music from Disney Live Entertainment, to illustrate the symphony of life. Disney World is introducing new attractions, including the show Luminous, the Symphony of Us and the Statue of Walt Disney. Guests can enjoy the spectacle from any point in the World Showcase Lagoon, with some moments synchronized with the lighting effects installed on Spaceship Earth in 2021. The park also has World Celebration Gardens, featuring a Dreamer's Point and a central fountain inspired by the iconic Epcot logo. To save on transportation, visitors can use tools such as Vita Promo, Booking.com, and Booking.com to book flights, accommodations, and accommodations. News number 3. IGN, December 8, 2023, Gaudi winner Baldur's Gate 3 revolutionized and brought the niche genre to the mainstream. Baldur's Gate 3 won the Gaudi Award in 2023, bringing the genre back into the mainstream. Larian Studios RPG, which is a franchise owned by BioWare, has gained the intellectual property rights and has become more popular than ever. The game features 10 charismatic companions, including the vampire Asterian, the cyborg Umbralma, and the warrior Lazel. The game's interaction with companions is incredible, from the most engaging to the romantic ones that can lead to intense battles. Combat requires creativity, as the game's arsenal includes a vast array of weapons, magic, and abilities that make fights intuitive. Larian Studios' work is remarkable in every way, with its beautiful soundtrack, incredible story building, and captivating characters becoming the winner of the Best Game of the Year award in 2023. To stay up to date on Baldur's Gate 3, Follow IGN on YouTube and visit their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch pages. News number 4, Mayobit.com, December 8, 2023, GOG, The Preservation of Games as a Business. GOG, a subsidiary of CD Projekt Red, has faced challenges licensing old games and ensuring that preserving classic titles is not a priority. Despite changes in the industry, such as the adoption of new names and a focus on recent games, GOG hasn't abandoned classic titles. 
The company's general director, Ursula Jack Jackie, explained that the company's main goal is to generate profits from all titles sold, but preserving old games is also important for the company's long-term success. Jack Jackie also highlighted the importance of preserving the history of ancient games for younger generations, as they play a crucial role in shaping their identities. However, the reasons behind many desired titles being ignored by GOG are not only based on the company's decision, but also on the rights of the original creators. News number 5, UEMS, December 8, 2023 for a Nova UEMS Award contemplates new winners in 2023 with projects that benefit the population and the productive sector. The For a Nova UEMS 2023 Award was held on December 4, 2023, at the University of Mato Grosso do Sul, NITUEMS. The event aimed to recognize and reward innovative projects by professors, researchers, students and technicians. The award was given to projects with potential for intellectual property and future technology transfer. The event was organized by the Dean of Research, Graduate Studies and Innovation, PROPI, and NITUEMS. The award was divided into three categories, SPARK, for projects with innovative ideas and projects in the early stages, and Ascension, for projects already in the testing phase. The project coordinators received prizes of 200,000 Brazilian reals, 1,000 Brazilian reals and 600 Brazilian reals. The winners were selected based on their innovative projects, which benefited the population and the productive sector. Dr. Maria Inesela Montenegro Garcia de Oliveira, professor of health and medical school, won the project dashboard, Linguistic Development Index in Copyright, as an innovation and incentive for science and therapeutic activity. Second block, I, N, P, I. News number 6, I, N, P, I, December 6, 2023, with significant participation, I, N, P, I, and WIPO hold IP course for media professionals. The International Press Association, BPTO, and the International Press Freedom Organization, WIPO, held a press freedom course for press professionals, with the participation of about 70 professionals from all over the country. The course, which has been held since 2016, has already trained more than 500 media professionals in nine editions, including online and face-to-face -face sessions in cities such as Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, Brasilia and Belo Horizonte. The course also featured speakers from several organizations, including the Ministry of Development, Industry, Commerce and Services, the National Confederation of Industries, the University of Minas Gerais and PUCRS. The next edition will be held in 2024, with more information available on the INPI portal or through the Contact Us system. The main theme of the course was the general presentation of the concepts and attributions of press freedom of the BPTO, with presentations by journalists Marcelo Cimento and Natalia Calandrini, the coordinator of the Gender, Diversity and Inclusion Committee of the WIPO Institute, Lina Mara Battistella, and Elisa Cabrera, WIPO Communication Representative. News number 7. INPI, December 6, 2023, INPI participates in the XXI ASAPI Congress in Mexico City. The BPTO participated in the XXI Congress of the Association of the International Association of Intellectual Property, ASAPI, in Mexico City, on December 3 and 6. The conference focused on the theme The Brand as a Symbol of the Company's Social Spirit, with discussions on brand licensing in the metaverse, the protection of innovations in sports equipment manufacturing, and the impact of the audiovisual industry on Philippine intellectual property, IP. On December 5, the president of the BPTO, Julio Cesar Morera, met with the director general of IMPI, Jose Sanchez Perez, and other leaders to present actions to protect collective rights for regional development, including collective trademarks, certifications and geographical indications. The president of the BPTO also met with the Brazilian ambassador to Mexico, Fernando Estela de Coimbra, discussing the IP situation in Brazil and the possibilities of cooperation between Brazil and Mexico, especially in collective rights and health. News number 8, Floripa Morning, December 7, 2023, Federation requests the geographical indication seal of oysters from Florianopolis to the INPI. The Federation of Aquaculture Companies, FEEC, is requesting the registration of the geographical indication of oysters of Florianopolis to the National Institute of Industrial Property, INPI, after years of work with Seabree Santa Catarina, the city of Florianopolis and other institutions. The GI is an international recognition of quality, 
stating that a product with a specific group of characteristics is unique to a region. In the case of oysters, they will be exclusive to the Florianopolis region. The GI includes the cultivation of oysters in Florianopolis, São José, Palhoca, Biguacu and Governador Celso Ramos. The goal is to expand sales in domestic and foreign markets and attract more tourists to the region, strengthening the image of the high-quality product. The GI will strengthen the name of Floripa's oysters, tourism and local gastronomy, reinforcing the unique quality of Floripa's production. News number 9, INPI, December 8, 2023, Japanese delegation gets to know Brazilian IP system. A Japanese delegation visited the Brazilian Patent and Trademark Office, BPTO, on December 8 to learn about the Institute's results, programs, and procedures. Most of the participants are from the group of workers fighting counterfeiting, led by Juno Kubo, who is also the president of Japan in Rio de Janeiro, Aito Sakaki, and the director of the Japan Foreign Trade Organization in Sao Paulo, Yuta Yasuda. The meeting discussed the Brazilian government's framework for counterfeiting, the BPTO's strategy to reduce the time for four-year patent examinations, specific requirements for three-dimensional registrations and high-profile trademarks in Brazil, and the functioning of the industrial design system.